The common plastic bag. To some, it's a convenient way to carry things home from the store. To others, like Washington, D.C. Councilman Tom Wells, it's an environmental nightmare. We see that these disposable bags are ubiquitous. You, can, you can't drive on the highway without seeing them blowing in the trees, blowing up against fences. Um, in the neighborhoods, they're, they're everywhere. Councilman Wells is trying to put a stop to it. He drafted legislation putting a five cent tax on those plastic bags to discourage their use. Washington, D.C. joined other cities across the country by imposing a bag fee. And more legislation is on the way. At least 20 states are now considering their own plastic bag laws. San Francisco has banned them altogether. Now the American Chemistry Council is fighting back. They're the folks that lobby for all things plastic. And they say the people who make plastic bags have developed formulas making the bags 100% recyclable. The discussions about plastic bags around the country have had a good benefit in making people more aware of the recycling infrastructure for plastic bags and, and other wraps. In fact, the plastic bag industry has voluntarily put recycling bins in grocery stores throughout the country. But Well says he's not buying it. He says D.C. has had recycling programs at stores for years and it hasn't stopped the amount of bags ending up in the Anacostia River. And the bags that do make it into the garbage sit in landfills for hundreds of years because polyethylene, the material plastic bags are made from, doesn't biodegrade. To say that recycling is the answer is to really to ignore logic that reducing the amount of trash you, you um, produce to begin with is the answer. But there's more, say the plastic bag lobby. They say using paper instead of plastic causes twice as much harmful greenhouse gas emissions because paper bags use twice as much energy to make. Paper bag manufacturers cut down trees and because paper is heavier than plastic, it takes seven times the amount of trucks to deliver them to stores. So the plastic bag advocates say a recycled plastic bag is good for the environment. There's nothing that could be easier than, everybody's got to go to the grocery store, so bringing it back to the grocery store is a, is a pretty easy thing to do. And when it comes to recycling polyethylene bags and wraps, it becomes a major source material for creating new products, like the ones made here at this Winchester, Virginia company. The company is called Trex, and they collect those plastic bags put into grocery store recycling bins all across the country. You got CVS, Target, yeah. just in this one little, yep bag here. We probably have close to four million pounds of bags. That's a lot of plastic bags. It's a lot of bags. This place is huge and they collected more than two billion plastic bags just last year and they also recycle anything made from polyethylene like the plastic wrap stores use for shipping and packaging. The company mixes the plastic with wood scraps and makes a composite decking material that's also used as fencing. Here's how it works. The plastic bags and wraps arrive in huge bales. Those bales are then hand sorted to remove the non-polyethylene plastic, as well as all the bottles, labels, paper, and other trash that ends up in the recycling bins. From there, it rides a conveyor belt to another machine that separates it more and turns it into tiny plastic pellets, ready to become composite lumber. So, all of this to get that. Right. That's your plastic bag. This is gold to you, isn't it? It is. It's a very valuable resource. And what about all the stuff that Trex doesn't use that ends up in those huge bales of plastic bags? You guessed it. It, too, gets recycled. This mass of wire is going to a metal company. Even the hardened residue that is separated from those tiny plastic pellets is recycled and sold to another company. And this material right here is the waste from our pellet process, which we grind up and we, we tell to guys making railroad ties. Despite the two billion plastic bags Trex recycles every year, it barely puts a dent in the more than 500 billion bags used in the United States annually. And for those of you keeping score at home, that's one million bags a minute. What's lacking, I think, is education and really letting people know that if they like to use a plastic product that has many advantages or their choice, 
part of using that material is, if it can be recycled, to recycle it. Plastic bags, no plastic material belongs in the oceans. They belong in recycling bins. And, and what we're working to do is make sure that more material makes it back into the recycling bin uh, when we're finished using it. That's a red herring. They're trying to use that argument across the country so that people feel like there's no reason to reduce the amount of bags that they're using because somehow recycling is the answer, and it's not the answer. It's, um, it's really a dodge. <laughs>